Hi, from the very heart of Athens, it's a beautiful sunny day, as usual. I am at the bottom of the Acropolis rock, the symbol of its golden age, with masterpieces in architecture, sculpture and theatre. Not too long ago, when one heard the word Greece, the first thing that came to mind was an idyllic scene of white villages perched on rocky islands in the blue water of the Aegean. And then, of course, the rich mythology and history of the country. But lately, words most commonly associated with Greece include default, bankruptcy, bailout, recession, debt and crisis. While all of this has come to a head in the last decade, Greece has in fact spent half of the past two in and out of bankruptcy. There is a parallel between the story of the economic distress of contemporary Greece and the struggles of one of its best-known mythological figures. Homer, the father of Western literature, wrote the epic poem The Odyssey in the 8th century BC. In it, he tells of the difficulties the hero Odysseus had to return home to Ithaca in Greece after the Trojan War. Archaeological evidence indicates that Troy was located near Hisalik in Turkey. It took Odysseus a full 10 years to journey from Turkey to Greece. Now Greece is on its own epic journey to stabilize its economy. It is difficult to pinpoint exactly when the modern odyssey began, but what is sure is that the Greek economy has been buffeted by ill winds in the past few years. Their impact felt as far away as Africa, and opening the country to foreign bondage, unthinkable a decade ago when the euro was created. You'd probably have to go back to the way that Greece conducted its statistics, going back all the way to to when Greece first entered the euro, and I think there's there's a lot to be said about how they entered the euro. They entered the euro on, on data which was clearly inaccurate. Uh, the, the fudged figures got them into the eurozone, and perhaps uh, the problem that, that lies right there is the fact that uh, a country got into the Eurozone when its underlying fundamentals weren't ready for that transition. At the time, Greece's public debt was more than 100% of its GDP. Membership brought advantages to Greece. The economy grew by an average of 4% a year until 2008. Low interest rates encouraged spending. The credit boom gave the country easy access to foreign and longer-term borrowing. But the 2008 downturn began revealing the fissures in Greece's facade. However, it would take another two years before the ratings agencies would be concerned enough to downgrade the nation's bonds and thus start the downward spiral that has brought the country to the brink of an exit from the euro. And with it, what many economists say will be certain economic ruin and pain for the rest of the world. Here is Greece, an economic odyssey. Over the next 50 minutes, we'll talk to leading Greek figures to map out how Greece descended from its golden age in the 5th century to an economic black sheep of the 21st century. Watching the Parthenon, sleepless guard of a city and a nation, after two and a half years of an everyday bankruptcy threat, Greece doesn't seem to have lost its soul. Όταν οι Έλληνες δουλεύουν ενωμένοι και στοχεύουν πάντα στην υπέρβαση, κάνουν θαύματα. Greece is alive. We have bright sun and of course hospitable people. Greece is full of champions. Uh, Greece is not a lost case. The golden age of Greece came to being in the 5th century under the statesman and orator Pericles. It was here in the cradle of Western civilization that the blueprint was drawn in disciplines as diverse as mathematics, medicine, philosophy, art, theater, literature, law and politics. Nika, the hill of the nymphs, the first open space parliament of the world. Here is where democracy was born. Η δημοκρατία πράγματι είναι το καλύτερο από τα δυνατά πολιτεύματα σε αυτό τον κόσμο. Η δημοκρατία εκείνης της περίοδου δεν μπορεί να συγκριθεί με καμία δημοκρατία του σύγχρονου κόσμου. Αυτή ήταν μια άμεση δημοκρατία στην αρχαία Αθήνα και για τα θετικότερα αποτελέσματα. Greek culture over the centuries was influenced by the Romans, the Byzantine Empire and the Ottomans. 